Let's talk about ghosted meetings. A ghosted meeting is when a conference room is booked and no one actually shows up to use it. Now, ghosted meetings are not only a waste of expensive real estate, but they frustrate employees because conference rooms never seem to be available. So in this video, I'll recommend some ways on how to reduce them. But before I get into those recommendations, I wanna show you how to determine the percentage of ghosted meetings in your organization. Because if we can measure it, then we can manage it and ultimately reduce the number. Now, did you know that in Cisco Control Hub, there is a report that can tell you what percentage of meetings are ghosted? It can do this for every room that has a Cisco video endpoint because of the intelligent cameras within those endpoints. They can actually detect if no one shows up in the room. Now, this Cisco Control Hub report provides a great tool to measure the effectiveness of the three strategies to reduce ghosted meetings that I'm about to share with you. Now, the first strategy is to eliminate the perception of scarcity. You wanna make sure that you have the right mix of conference rooms based on not only size, but the purpose of the meeting. Also, you wanna enable as many conference rooms with video to support hybrid meetings. This will eliminate the temptation of people to book those good rooms just in case they might need them. Now, the second strategy is to put in place policies that deter hosts from booking meetings too far in advance or booking too many recurring meetings. These types of meetings are notorious for causing meetings to be ghosted because as you know, plans change over time. Uh, you also want to consider sending out reminders to meeting hosts, asking them to release the room if it's no longer required. Now, the third strategy is to leverage technology to automatically release the room booking, say 10 to 15 minutes after the meeting has started. Now, given that Cisco Video Endpoints can sense that no one is actually in the room, you can put in place a process to automatically release the room. Now, I'll admit this solution isn't ideal, but at least the room would be freed up for anyone looking to have an ad hoc meeting. If you've got any additional strategies for minimizing the number of ghosted meetings, please let me know down in the comments. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, you know the drill. Please hit the like button, subscribe, or follow. This is John Seaton, the Collaboration Specialist. Thanks for watching.